today's first reading caused me to wonder, are we relying too much on man and science right now, given our current situation? Well, don't get me wrong. I'm a regular at the Center for Disease Control website. I watch just about every COVID-19 press conference, and I definitely look for good civic leadership. Still, today's readings and the responsorial psalm caused me to reflect, even though it was over 2,000 years ago, the people in that first reading and we share some common ground. Like ourselves at times, they were trying to make sense of their world and also shape it to fit their desires. Sounds familiar. As we heard, they built idols of gold and silver, and they made sacrifices to them. They created kings and princes without consulting God first. And they thought these acts would ensure prosperity and peace, but it didn't. So with that in mind, here are two questions that each of us can ask ourselves individually, but I think just as importantly that we can ask our families. First one is this, what are my or my family's idols? What are the things like money, power, popularity, a home or a car, a boat, that I worship by what I'm willing to sacrifice to attain them or maintain them? You know, sometimes even knowledge of science especially in a time like now, can also become an idol that we put all our trust in. Secondly, who are the kings and princes that I or we follow above or in competition with God? Today's kings and princes could be our elected officials. They could be experts in a particular field, sport or entertainment figures, or even friends that we blindly follow. And if I or we as a family can say yes to either of those questions, the most important one is, how do we get things right again? Like Venerable Patrick Payton, Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frizzati, believed that prayer is what leads us back to God. He said that prayer is the noble supplication which we lift up to the throne of God. He continued by saying, it is the most efficient means to obtain from God the graces which we need and especially the strength in persevering in these times. Father Patrick Payton believed in the power of family prayer, especially the rosary. That simple and yet powerful action of turning to God faithfully as a family turning to him for guidance and wisdom and perseverance or whatever it is that you and your family need today. My brothers and sisters, if it's been a while, today is the day to begin again to put God first. It's then that he can show us the way, including using our God-given talents of leadership and intellect, but always looking to put God first. My brothers and sisters, today is the day to begin again, to put God first, to know with confidence that he is with us, and as we said in the psalm, that we put our trust in him. May God bless you and your families on this holy day.